Welcome back. In this video, we're going to study the concept of perpendicularity. By definition, perpendicularity is two lines, rays, or segments that intersect at right angles. So the converse, since it's a definition, there's a converse. If two lines, rays, segments are perpendicular, then they form right angles. So something you might use as a reason and a proof would be perpendicular lines form right angles. Or you could insert rays form right angles or perpendicular segments form right angles. It just depends on what you're given. An example of two lines that are perpendicular, of course, is the Cartesian plane. Okay, your Cartesian plane with your, with your x-axis and your y-axis form right angles. Okay, and that's something that you already knew. We'll use the We'll use the notation or the symbol like that for perpendicular. So you'll see that in your book. You can use that in your notes and in other places, your classwork as well. Some properties of perpendicular lines. Well, of course, they form and meet at right angles. Uh, the slopes of those two lines, if they're perpendicular, are opposite reciprocals, or the products of their slopes are negative 1. And of course, for this to take place, they must be coplanar. Oblique lines are two lines that intersect and are not perpendicular. So I wouldn't say it's the opposite, but it's just a different kind of intersection. You can intersect perpendicular and you can intersect oblique. So here's an example of a proof that you might see. So we would be given that AB is perpendicular to BC. So I'm going to mark my diagram. So I put a right angle in there. Well, I've just made a statement, haven't I? I'm stating here that angle B is a right angle. So I'll say angle B is right. And I'll use my new reason. Perpendicular segments form right angles. And again, same thing with BC is perpendicular to BC. I have a right angle and same as two. Now we want to prove angle B is congruent to angle C. Better put my reason in. Now I have two right angles, so then I can finish my proof that angle B is congruent to angle C, and I can use my reason, all right angles are congruent. So angle B is congruent to angle C, and if two angles are right, then they are congruent. Uh, I'll let you go ahead and shorten that to all right angles are congruent. And that concludes the introduction to perpendicularity, and I will see you in class.